You know, garlic was not something I remember having around the house when I was growing up. Not fresh, anyhow. We had garlic powder, garlic salt, even imitation garlic, believe it or not. And for a while, that phrase became an incantation for me. In my childish mind, I was convinced that uttering the words imitation garlic gave me superpowers. Well, now I can't even find evidence that such a product ever existed, so... It might be a good name for a memoir, but I digress. My point is that we didn't have the fresh stuff on hand. And Christy reports a similar situation in her childhood home. It wasn't until she moved out and started frequenting the uptown cafe and the Trojan horse that garlic became a regular part of her diet. In fact, her mother refused to do her laundry because she didn't like the smell. Yeah. Christy was not only taking her laundry home during her college years, she was actually getting Susie to do it for her, at least for a while. But again, I digress. Uh, these days, we consume a fair volume of garlic in our little household. We don't put it in every dish, but almost. Our general attitude is that more garlic is always better. We use garlic granules for certain purposes, but mostly it's the fresh stuff. Nothing smells better in my estimation than garlic sautéed in oil. Looking back, I have to wonder if there was some sort of anti-garlic prejudice in Indiana back in the day. I caught a whiff of that, so to speak, when we produced Rock's episode number 83, J and B Eat Garlic, in the spring of 1995. That program was inspired, largely, by word of an anti-garlic law in Gary, Indiana. We generalized from there to address stupid laws in general, and I think it was one of our best efforts. Uh, we did explore the health benefits of garlic and how our regulatory mechanisms discourage so-called herbal remedies because they aren't able to be patented. We never did delve into the origin of that anti-garlic law. And as it turns out, there's evidence of a strong vein of anti-garlicism that's a new word I just made up, anti-garlicism, uh, in the region in the early 20th century. 